Good evening, everybody. It's Thursday evening, and it's raining outside. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys know the history of Brimfield. At one time, we were called Swamp Town. Driving around town today, it looks like Swamp Town. Uh, be careful on the roads. There's a lot of flooding. Not on the roads, but on the outskirts, and it's getting close to roads. Uh, just be careful out there. Uh, I just want to go over the meeting real quick. It's from February 28th. Uh, the big news was given to us by Jendi, and after all this hard work by all you citizens and everyone making some noise to ODOT, I'm sure you've all heard that we are now going to get a traffic light on Howe and 43. Thank God we, we needed that so bad, and we even had a little help from Suffield, and we had a lot of help from uh, some Brimfield residents and everybody. Thank you for everyone, everything you did. Uh, the meeting, uh, okay, for the police department, I'll go through this real quick. Uh, we did have a lot of people at the at the meeting. Uh, there were some concerns voiced about the school levy, and we directed them to go down and talk to the school levy. I mean, the, the, the school board would love to hear from you. So, you know, we're all working together on this thing. Uh, and to the, the police report, uh, we're getting close to making a new hire for the department. Uh, we had 24 traffic crashes, 33 alarm drops, six domestic disputes, three fraud investigation reports, 21 disorderly conduct, 426 premise, premise checks, 16 theft reports, 10 arrest warrants served, 42 suspicious persons, suspicious vehicles, and suspicious event calls, one breaking in, entering, burglary, 10 animal-related complaints, 15 welfare checks, 126 traffic contacts. Uh, uh, this Saturday, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. till 12 noon, uh, it's going to be Coffee with a Cop. Uh, I'd love to be there, but I won't be able to make this one. But any of you that want to come up and meet some of our police officers, come on up and meet them. Have a cup of coffee. Uh, the Brimfield Police Department, per their schedule, is going to be picking up two new cars. Uh, one is going to be a F-150, which are going to use for the K-9 unit, which is going to be great because we can get a lot of equipment in the back. It'll be a four-door, uh, and of course it's a Ford, so you know you got to love that. The other one's going to be a Ford Fusion. Uh, so the PD is doing good. Uh, Road department, they're out trying to fix roads, but you know, the more rain we get, you put that cold patch in the pothole and it freezes again and it's gone. So uh, let's hope this rain stops. Uh, they received their bobcat, which is going to help immensely with uh, ditching the roads and berming the roads and all sorts of things. We've needed one for a long time and Dave was very frugal and was able to uh, get one at a great deal through the state bid process. Uh, other than that, we have plenty of salt, and, uh, and we are new hire. Tim Smith from Suffield has joined our road unit, and he has some really good experience, and he's great with repairing trucks and is a piece that we've needed for a long time. Uh, fire department, they had uh, 222 calls so far. Uh, our new ambulance is in service, but you got to remember our other ambulance is almost 12 years old, so we're going to start looking at different options for us to pick up another ambulance because we have so many multiple uh, calls that we need two dependable ambulances. Uh, on a side note, Craig has been helping immensely with the the community center project and and Craig and I just got back from a presentation to the Portage Foundation trying to secure some more money to get this project moving along. We've had so much done up there. They're getting ready to put in the handicap ramp. The new doors are in. Uh, new electricity is going to be, uh, new lighting and stuff is going to be put in. Uh, we really are moving forward. Any help we can get, we're, we, we're appreciative. Um, we hired uh, three more people for our zoning board, two alternates and one full-time guy. 
no action, no action. Uh, we did pass a resolution for medical marijuana moratorium. This is to give us a chance for our our board, our zoning board, to to look into the the legality of permitting medical marijuana facilities in the township. If we didn't pass this moratorium, someone could open shop and we would have no, no say about it. So rather than have our head in the sand, because we know it's coming, we're going to have our boards study it and the trustees are going to study it so we can make an educated decision. And we want to hear from you, the residents. So don't be bashful. Please uh, let us know your thoughts. Uh, and we hope to have that approved within six months, what direction we're going to take. Uh, you know, I know some of, I know Rootstown, I think, is, has said okay to it. I'm not sure what Suffield's done. You know, we just need to really look into the issue. It's going to be affecting us all come September. I guess that's when everything starts. So we're going to really be looking into that. Um, other than that, it was a pretty good meeting. Uh, I just want everyone to be, you know, be careful out there. There's a lot of water, a lot of rain. Spring is so darn close. Uh, and everyone uh, get to know your neighbors. Keep an eye out for each other, and uh, let's keep moving Brimfield forward. Everyone enjoy your dinner and your evening, and uh, thanks for being part of this page. I'll talk to you all later.